This relic from the 1930s has become quite the attraction. Everybody loves the hit miss engine. Every weekend, the pops and whirs are signal. Lisa Hill and her husband Ben are busy making ice cream. And you have to go as fast as the machine goes. You know, you can't go any faster and you can't, you got to keep up with it. Their antique production is set up outside of Hills Minnow Farm near High Rock Lake. My grandfather started the business um, with a little bait shop behind the store, so that's where it started. He actually had a little doorbell where you would ring it in the middle of the night and he would get up out of the bed and come get your minnows so you can go night fishing. They still sell minnows. A lot of minnows. <laughs> and just about anything else you can imagine. I think when you come in the store, you're really surprised by how much stuff we have. And especially surprised to find homemade ice cream. We kind of started making ice cream to save money for our wedding. So we were engaged for two years and we made ice cream for two years and we just saved the money and it went towards our wedding. And after our wedding, well, we just kept making ice cream because everybody wanted it. So much so, they can hardly keep up with demand. We're making the ice cream as fast as it goes out. Lisa has come up with about 30 different recipes. Our top two sellers of ice cream every week is peach ice cream and cheerwine ice cream. No matter which one you pick. It'll tantalize your mm. taste buds. I like to tell people that uh, the flavor comes out and smacks you in the face. There's just something about homemade ice cream. <laughs> Woo! A smile in every cup. The best thing about ice cream is how happy it makes people. For sure. For sure. For sure. Near High Rock Lake. Look at the Roy's folks. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News. This